What's going on everyone, Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it seems like things are extraordinarily rough at Twitter financially, but I don't think, you know, I don't think it really hits the same as it did back when, you know, Elon didn't own it, but I guess given, you know, all of the kind of recent developments, a lot of people have lost a lot of faith in Elon. I still think he can bounce back and, and regain that, but they are really, really, doing everything they can to scrape together every single penny, which of course is not great timing with so many people deciding to cancel their Twitter blue, including myself, because I just feel like it, they can't be trusted. Like it just, they just can't. But this morning there is a tech, as they say, uh, bombshell as the tech giant announced plans to do start charging developers for its API as Elon Musk desperately tries to claw back 40% loss in revenue. Now, this is important because for, for a lot of reasons, but I think there's a multifaceted kind of approach to why he's doing this. And it's not just about the money. It's also about the bots um, because a lot of these bots now run, you know, they run off API. They use API data to, to actually get through. But um, anyway, let's check out the story. Twitter has announced that it will no longer offer developers free access to public data starting on February 9th. Oh, well, that's close. It's only a week away. Twitter's development team announced the move at 1 a.m. on Thursday, stating we no longer support free access to the Twitter API, both V2 and V1.1. A paid basic tier will be available instead. Application Programming Interfaces APIs provide companies, developers, and users with Programmatic, programmatic access to Twitter's data. According to Twitter's website, APIs allow developers to view public information stored in Twitter's data, which users can control how much is available. Now, a, a good example of this would probably be something like Social Blade, where Social Blade is providing the uh, the access to, you know, everyone's loving watching Eliza Blue's Twitter followers drop, right? That's using API data, I assume, to check how often, um, you know, check running follower accounts. Same thing with YouTube subscribers. And if you noticed, really, Social Blade data has become less and less reliable because it seems like it's pulling API data f less frequently. Um, and so, you know, w trends are difficult to, to find in real time. But, you know, the data is still available. Over the years, hundreds of millions of people have sent over a trillion tweets with billions more every week, the team wrote in a late night tweet. Twitter data are among the world's most powerful data sets. We're committed to enabling fast and comprehensive access so you can continue to build with us. This move comes after it was revealed that the social media company's revenue was down 40% compared to last year. And many advertisers have paused spending since the Tesla CEO took over as chief twit. Musk's, you know, takeover. Now, insiders have told technology newsletter platformer that the site's daily revenue on Tuesday, January 17th, was 40% lower than the same day a year ago. Now, it's just a single date, so I wouldn't exactly call that super duper representative data set, but it's not awesome. It's still a Tuesday. It's not like you compared a Monday night to a Sunday morning. You know, it's it's hard. You know, a lot of these people that pulled out of Twitter, I think they just stayed out. And what's crazy is I feel like I'm seeing more ads now than ever. And aren't ads supposed to be reduced with Twitter blue? I feel like I'm seeing more ads than I've ever seen before. And it just, it's nuts to think about the revenue being down that much with all the people that sign up for Twitter blue too. In the first quarter of 2022, Twitter generated 1.2 billion in revenue or, okay, hold on a second. One second. Let me analyze that number again. The rev the daily revenue was down 40%. Okay, so that's your total income. You made 40% less. But let's say Twitter's costs are 50% down compared to last year, which you could probably, that's probably not that far off, which means they're actually made 10% more money than they did the year before on that date. So, you know, statistics can be funny. There's that line, there's lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. Although this isn't really a statistic. This is just gross revenue, not net revenue. Net revenue being down 40% would be very, very bad.
Meanwhile, more than 500 advertisers have paused spending with the site since Musk's takeover reports the information. Engineering manager Siddharth Rao is said to have informed employees of the drop in a presentation to the staff last month. Advertisers have been spooked by the company's mass layoffs and Musk's rush to implement paid verification features that resulted in scammers impersonating companies on Twitter. Social media platform, the social media platform also recently reversed its 2019 on ban on political ads. Well, they're going to need that money. And that it said it would relax advertising policy on cause-based ads in the United States and align its ad policy with TV and other media outlets. Again, they need the money. So, you know. In November, he admitted that there have been issues with advertising revenue, telling his followers Twitter has had a massive drop in revenue due to activist groups pressuring advertisers, even though nothing has changed with content moderation and we did everything we could to appease them. Well, well, everyone knew that. He had it extremely messed up. They're trying to destroy free speech in America. You mean like locking people's accounts for posting a publicly available picture? Yeah, I'm salty still. The company has yet to publish its fourth quarter earnings, which are set to be released in February. I assume that they won't be good either. Musk had planned to diversify Twitter's revenue away from ads in the long run. However, the sudden drop in spending will likely hamper the companies in the medium term. Musk already axed 75% of its 7,500 person strong workforce, resulting in dozens of laid off workers now trying to sue the company. They're not winning that lawsuit, by the way. And the firm is also facing a land uh, a lawsuit from a landlord. Fine, who cares? They don't care about paying rent. You know, they're just, they're just going to get rid of that. So, I mean, revenue is down, but these people are ignoring costs, also likely being down by a massive amount. And also understand that revenue is down market-wide. YouTube is down probably 30 40%, at least based on what I'm seeing. Why do you think they're so desperate to roll out shorts? Um, and they're so desperate to force YouTubers to live stream more. And they got super stickers and super chats and super dupers. All this stuff is really a way for YouTube to, to make 30%. Um, and so the entire space is also down. Again, inconvenient, you know, conveniently left out of that article. Also, where this may come in is it's about bots. Gizmodo says, see... Kiss some of your favorite bots, Twitter bots, goodbye. External app makers, researchers, and bot programmers will have to pay up if they want to regain access to the platform's behind-the-scenes inter interface. I don't necessarily have a problem with this, especially if you're using it for profit. You know, and everyone's kind of saying, oh, it's, you know, it's debt to pay. They've got to do all this stuff. Why wouldn't you charge for that? Especially if people are using that data to profit. Like Social Blade is using that data to run ads and make money. Why wouldn't you charge them? I, I, I don't understand why this is a weird thing. Currently, Twitter provides free limited API access for broader access, lifted restrictions, and additional features. There are paid premium tiers that developers can pay out for. Although the exact up-to-date pay schedule isn't clear, in 2022, premium access reportedly started at $99 per month and went as high as $2,000 a month. Prices, it differ, difficult to imagine any casual programmer or researcher paying. Uh, I mean, maybe, I mean, I, I don't know, I guess. You could see like, oh, I'm posting a possum every hour. Hi all, I regret to announce that this bot will stop working on the 9th of February next week due to Twitter's new API policy. I have no intention of paying Twitter for basic API usage. You can follow the bot on Mastodon. Again, so this is really a move to probably greatly reduce the amount of bots. There are bots that, that are good, that people like, that you know post pictures or post you know whatever in a certain amount of time like that. But I, I guess that might be 2%. What if that number is a really small percentage of the overall bots, right? If 5% of bots are useful and the other and this trims out 95% of other bots, I assume I assume that's what this is for. I really do. They can't be making that much money renting out their API. I just really don't believe that's the case. I believe that they are doing this to get rid of bots. Uh, there are good bots. And by the way, if you wanted to run, uh, run a possum an hour, you can use TweetDeck, which is free, okay? And you can schedule posts for a month. You don't need it to be an API. You could still run that same account with a little bit of planning. You could, you could schedule a year's worth of posts in an afternoon. 
Um, and again, you don't need API access to that. So I think that this is getting kind of uh, blown blown out of proportion. Everyone's referring to it as like, oh, they're doing this to make money. I just don't think that this the amount of money they're going to generate from this is going to be any meaningful amount. And and that this is really more aimed at getting rid of bots and spams and all, all this kind of stuff. So of course, you know, even though I'm, I'm me and Elon are in a, in a, a, a lover's quarrel right now, this feels like much ado about nothing. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below is are, are the days numbered is bankruptcy coming for Twitter. Some think so. Even Elon Musk has suggested that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, I hope to see you tonight at five o'clock on this channel with Sydney Watson for our kind of our first official community notes show. So I hope to see you there and we'll talk to you again real soon.